Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you how I did this in today's video. All right, so today I'm gonna be using some newer products. Um, the first one is Folk Art Pouring Medium. I've had it for a while and I keep forgetting to use it. So I decided that since I bought these new Deco Art Pure Pigment Paints that I would use it with these. Um, I've got five different colors and I'm going to just jump in and get started here. Now the way that I mixed these is one tablespoon of paint to two and a half to three tablespoons of pouring medium. Now these pure pigment paints are quite a bit thicker than a regular craft paint. Um, they're a heavy bodied paint. So it was like three to one. Um, but what happened was I made them the night before and then uh, of course I covered them but then the next day when I checked them they had thickened up so I, ent I ended up having to add some water now I didn't measure the water <laughs> so I can't really tell you how much I added um, but it was um, you know enough to get to the consistency that I needed and of course I let them set again because there was quite a few air bubbles um, and so I let them sit another day and you know they thickened up a little bit again I gave them a stir uh, they seem to be okay but they're a little bit thicker than I would normally use uh, with my paints um, but the colors are really, really nice and vibrant. So I have uh, high hopes for these pure pigment paints. Now, I did forget to tell you, the white that I used is actually Artist Loft White, and I mixed that um, a little bit less of the pouring medium because it's not as heavy of a body. It's more of a softer medium bodied paint. Um, so I didn't need quite as much of the uh, folk art pouring medium with that. Um, so anyway, back to what, back to the um, painting here. Um, you can see that these colors are nice and vibrant. Um, I, I think they look really pretty. The only problem, like I said, is there's a ton of air bubbles. So I um, am definitely having to use my torch uh, to get those out. And then I do have some of the white left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, pour that um, next to it, which will help the paint, um, you know, glide over the, the canvas. Um, and, I, and I just wanted to use it up. So that's mainly, I think, the reason why I'm doing it too. So, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and use my spatula there and just spread it out over over the canvas and it doesn't have to be you know perfect I've said it probably a million times just enough to to kind of get it uh, coated there um, and like I said doesn't have to be perfect all right so I've got it there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start tilting here um, I really really like uh, the design that it made going back and forth on uh, the canvas and um, so I'm just gonna move it around and try to cover it but while I'm doing that I did want to kind of go over some pricing with you the uh, folk art pouring medium for a 16 ounce bottle is regular $9.99 and I got it at Michael's I did have a coupon uh, so I think I paid $4.99 for it so that really especially if I have a coupon that is um, a really good deal and the pure pigment paint from folk art a regular $4.99 I had a coupon for those and I think I paid $2.99 a piece um, so that is a really good deal I think for a um, more pigmented paint these colors really are nice I'm, I'm pretty impressed with um, how bright and vibrant the colors are um, so again I think it's worth it, uh, worth the money, especially if you have a coupon. Michaels always has coupons to use. All right, so popping those air bubbles again one more time, and there's a lot of them in there still. Um, I think it's just because I maybe should have added a little more water to it. Um, they would have been able to um, come up through the paints, but they'll still probably work their way out um, while it's sitting here. So you can see that these colors are nice and bright, and I'm really curious if you guys have tried these um, pure pigments from folk art and also the folk art um, pouring medium so leave me a comment below if you have and let me know what your experience has been with it okay so now we just have to wait and see how it dries all right guys here's the dried results and i am really happy with how this dried the colors are nice and vibrant it dried very shiny i do think that the um, folk art pure pigments are worth the money 
even without a coupon, they do go a long way. The pouring medium is very nice as well, so I recommend both of these products. All right, guys, so don't forget um, to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video too if you think someone may benefit from it. Also, I have a bunch more videos for you to check out, so click one of those links on the left, and I'll catch you in my next video.